Hello everybody, it's me here, Darren again from Crazy BG Adventure, and as you can probably see, I am not where I have been filming for God knows how long. Um, that's because I haven't done a video in a little while. There's been a lot, a lot, lot going on, um, which I'm going to try and catch up with you guys with it all as much as I possibly can. So if you're wondering where I am, this is one of the newest rooms. If you've seen and remember the update I did on the update of the house a couple of months ago, um, this was the upstairs. These are the new rooms. So this is my office. So welcome. Um, so this is probably where I'm going to be doing a lot of the filming in the future. Um, and I will drop in a clip of just like a bit of a tour around it um but the reason being is uh, i was talking a little while ago about um work in bulgaria and that uh, i found this little thing about freelancing and um and it's it's going really really well actually better than what i expected it to be and um, so i started off where i was doing some writing um and some getting paid like um but so much per every thousand words but then I learned a lot about like um you know not cutting yourself too low and having some worth in what what your work is like how much it's worth and not just trying to be there just for the sake of um competitiveness uh so I think it's going from strength to strength and um, I had a really long contract going on for about four or five months uh, which I was working with the German company that went really really well sadly it came to an end but then it made me discover things like Upwork um, which is a site that freelancers can use where you can basically um, use your skills uh, against um, work needed so i kind of look for a lot of data entry uh, where you're uh, basically take taking data and putting it into a spreadsheet format for a client um, and it works really really well because i can set my own hours and set my own rates and i don't know if it's because i'm british or something like that because with english being my first language that it makes it more attractive um, because I have more knowledge on um, how English is written and uh, the wording that needs to be used etc etc I don't know if that's what's bringing me more work I, I have honestly no idea but all I can say is that I'm grateful for it but because saying that at the same time I realize that sitting on the sofa downstairs I needed a dedicated space where to work, um, which is where um, now why I have the office. So I have um, another desk there behind me. Um, what you can also do as well, guys, if you want, is see if any of you are on Instagram, you can follow me. I think it's Crazy BG Adventure, but I'll put something down here with my Instagram account if you want to follow me there. Um, but I've got a secondary desk, and I call this desk the backup. Um, so the reason being is my old Mac's there, um, which should be on charge. Um, so basically what happens now is in the event of a power cut, um, if something, if the, this Mac here, which I'm working on now, isn't fully charged, I can move over to the backup desk and carry on working because I can pair it up with my phone for internet and then you know carry on doing that but as an extra extra backup there's a video i'm going to do in the future where i'm going to take you guys to see a hotel called the Storide Barovi, um which is about 10 minutes down the road from where we live and i've been there quite a few times now we like to go down there for a drink and just chill out it's a really nice setting and um, it's owned by Horistian and anna um who are really really lovely people and uh, I asked him and just said, look, if I have a power cut and I need to work, can I come here to work, you know, um, with, with your internet? And he says, yeah, that's absolutely not a problem. So I really want to, uh, to show you guys uh, this fabulous little hotel. Um, 
and also I'm going to be helping them out with some stuff in return to do with their social media and the website and things like that. So it's going really, really well. Um, the other thing that we've just literally finished is the bedroom, um, which I'm going to drop in a video clip now. So you'll see that the bedroom's now being moved into the other room now. And the reason that we did it was because in the winter, it's easier because it keeps it warmer and um, it's it's easier to keep warm in a smaller room than a bigger room uh, with that radiator and uh, we've got the sockets and everything in there so I'm going to order an electric blanket for the winter where we can plug it in um, just to keep the bed warm and things like that. So, um, so though these are the two rooms so the next room that's being done is what was the other bedroom that's going to be done and change into a guest room and um, so we've got that coming next then it's either going to be excuse me the top hallway um, and then onto the bathroom or it's going to be the other room through here which is uh, the other half's room um, but I don't know when he when he's planning on doing that and what he wants to do with that uh, then I think it's just like some other rooms like we need to the living room and the downstairs because what we've decided is or what we're thinking about is the fire that normally you see me sitting next to over the winter time we love it but we're having such a big problem with it because the flu actually is this here this so this comes from the downstairs fire up and out but it's never worked right it doesn't draw the fire so we can open the fire and the smoke will just billow out into the room so it constantly smells of smoke um so what we're thinking now which to be honest will just save a lot of time is we're now seriously considering um a, a pellet burner um and what that'll do is it will not only heat the radiators but it will also heat the hot water tank which is great for the winter because it means at the moment we've got the hot water tank which is running off electricity which is how most of them here run unless it's solar or a pellet boiler um, but we're going to get a new hot water heater and what will happen is in the winter we won't have it feeding off electricity it'll feed off the uh, the pellet burner so basically that will just run um, and heat the hot water at the same time as keeping us nice and toasty warm. So I haven't worked here obviously in the, in the winter but this room is exceptionally insulated and it's not the polystyrene either, it's the proper fiberglass insulation that's behind all the walls here. So um, hopefully all being well, um, I shouldn't feel cold in here. Um, you know, everywhere's been very well insulated and there shouldn't be any issues at all with, uh, with, heat, with the heating of this room. I'm hoping so. Plus as well, because you've got the warmth of downstairs because you've got that huge radiator, which means that the heat's gonna rise up through to the, uh, through and up into this room. At the moment though, not that we need the heating on at all because, oh my God, guys, it, like in me, uh, we had a bit of a problem where we had this unusual amount of rain in May in storms and um, it was colder for longer so when summer did get here there wasn't any in between so we went from 15 degrees overnight to 30 and with that came humidity um, so it was so humid and then we were just having more storms and more rain and then with the humidity and the moisture came mosquitoes, which I'm going to tell you now, guys, mosquitoes are a pain in the arse. They're absolutely a pain. Um, so if you're considering a move here, you definitely want to be putting mosquito repellent on your list of things because they, they bite, you know, and... People say all sorts. Some people say have plenty of vitamin B. Some people say with garlic on your cells. Some people say rakia helps. But to be honest, I find that, well, just this week, that if you're sitting out and you just cover yourself in mosquito repellent, it's enough, you know, in, in that you shouldn't get bit, hopefully. Um, 
so yeah so that's the one bit of a drawback i mean we, we i even had mosquitoes in here the other day and my ankles were just getting bit all over while i was working um so they can be a bit of a misery but now we haven't had rain for a few days um it's been lovely absolutely lovely and sunny if you can hear like this um noise in the background i should have said it right at the beginning i apologize i've got a fan on here because i have to because this room from two o'clock gets so hot it's unbelievable um and by five o'clock this fan doesn't even help it doesn't even blow cold air anymore it blows warm air and then i think to myself well should i look at um air conditioning um but then I have to ask myself, well, does it warrant you? No, know, because of the fact that I'm not in this room all the time. And also because I wouldn't use it in the winter. It's only for the summer. So can I can I warrant having an aircon unit in here? I'm, I'm still giving it some serious thought uh, before making any decisions on that. Um, so that's really it. Like it was just merely an update to give you guys about what's happening. Um, so I'll report back uh, in a little while with some more updates. Um, if there's anything that you want me to know, then by all means let me know. But I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna finish off with this as well. That, that something else that I've I've kind of realised that. Um, and I'm gonna say this uh, because. I really think it's true and I really think it reflects on, on you guys. Um, oh, um, just do what you want to do, guys. Do what you want to do. Like, it doesn't matter what other people tell you, what's right or what's wrong or what's best. The most important thing is, is doing what you want to do. So don't worry if you have a plan and that plan changes. Um whilst you're doing it because you know it, it doesn't really matter because things will change you know and you'll find that as you as you're going along so if you if you have a plan and that plan changes then that's fine but do what you want to do not what other people tell you what's right and what's wrong like i can give advice and things like that but that is only advice. It's not telling you what you want to do. So just because other people have lived here longer, it doesn't make them experts at anything because everybody lives differently. Um, and that's what I've, I've discovered and what I've decided that I'm going to do. So I'm, I'm tired now of, of, you know, people saying, oh, you shouldn't do this because it costs a lot of money or you shouldn't do that because it's better if you do it this way. Just learn from your own mistakes. That's the best thing that I can tell you to do. Um, and that's really it. That is really it that I want to just kind of like close out from for today. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, sorry it's been so long, but as you can see, there's been a lot going on. And uh, I will catch up with you all very soon. Until next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe uh, to follow me for more videos. And I will see you again very soon. Alright guys, have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye-bye.